हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सुरेश अग्रवाल्स मैथमेटिक्स शॉर्टकट्स सो व्हाट डू वी हैव इन दिस वीडियो अ वीडियो इन विच वी आर गोइंग टू टेक अप अ वेरी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक स्पेशली फॉर जूनियर स्टूडेंट्स एंड फॉर कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स यू जस्ट कांट एस्केप द टॉपिक ऑफ यूनिट कन्वर्जन्स दीज आर सम बेसिक यूनिट कन्वर्जन्स विच आई एम गोइंग टू टेक अप फॉर दिस वीडियो एंड इफ यू अंडरस्टैंड द बेसिक यूनिट कन्वर्जन्स द हायर यूनिट कन्वर्जन्स will be really really easy for all of you so let's see what do we have in this video let me tell you about the best offers which are currently going on on suresh agarwal's mathematics shortcuts for fulfilling your educational needs we have the ebook of short tricks which contains 350 different short tricks to crack 24 different topics of quantitative aptitude you can calculate 10x faster if you study from this ebook of short tricks this comes with the video support we have the reasoning course covering around 17 different topics of reasoning and practice questions illustrations video support everything is there in this reasoning course we have cbsc practice worksheets for class 6 to 10th amazing collection of questions so that you can ensure that you are preparing comprehensively for your school exams then we have the vedic maths uh, video course that is the beginner level course which we have bought out very recently for our junior students especially when uh, summer vacations are coming up and you want to upskill yourself you can go for this vedic maths video course whatsapp 9896369963 that's the best way you can get a copy of that i'll send you all the details regarding all these courses you can visit our website www.sureshagarwal.in or you can download our app named learning loop it contains validity based e content so friends let's see the topic in hand now so the topic is conversion right so you can see the first conversion here 1.8625 kilometers is to be converted to millimeters now kilometer is a big unit and we want to convert that to millimeters which is a small unit so you should know 1 kilometer is to be first converted into meters so kilo means 1 so if you multiply that by 1000 you will get 1000 meters now that is the first conversion you should know meters can further be converted to centimeters 1 meter has 100 centimeters so multiply that by 100 so you get 1000 times 100 which is 1 followed by five zeros these many centimeters and now finally we need millimeters so you all should know that when you multiply centimeters by 10 you get millimeters and therefore one followed by six zeros will be the centimeter conversion of 1 km so if you have 1.8625 km and you want to convert that to millimeters you just have to multiply 1.8625 by this factor that is 1 followed by how many zeros six zeros and when you have to multiply any decimal by 1 followed by six zeros you have to shift the decimal place six digits towards the right that means four digits are already there so 18625 i have shifted it four digits and now we need two zeros which will give us the answer in millimeters friends the conversion is you know it is dependent on the fact that you know that kilometer can be converted to meters meters to centimeters centimeters to millimeters that is the basic rule you should be aware about let's see another one like this here we have centimeters so whenever you have centimeters centimeter is a small unit and meter is a big unit so whenever you are converting a small unit to a big unit then we divide big unit to small unit we multiply small unit to big unit we will divide so if you know that 1 cm if you want to convert that to meters you have to divide by 100 because 1 meter has 100 cm so 1 cm will have 1 upon 100 meters divide by 100 that means 1 upon 100 meters so you can convert that very easily 72.86 cm will be converted to meters if you divide 72.86 by 
by 100 and what happens when you divide quantities by 100 the decimal shifts two digits towards the left so if you shift it two digits towards the left you are going to get 0 0.7286 meters which is the exact conversion which was required in this question i hope you are understanding it well and if you have understood this we can apply it to convert units of weights also like you have a kilogram here and a milligram here so you should know that one kilogram is to be first converted into grams and kilo means thousand so if you multiply that by thousand you will get one thousand grams and gram to milligram again a factor of what thousand again so there are thousand milligrams in one gram so if you multiply this by thousand you are going to get one followed by six zeros milligrams and this is what was required in this question now since we have these many kgs 0 0.65928 kgs so we will just multiply it by this factor to get it converted to milligrams so one followed by six zeros so the decimal will shift six digits towards the right so this will become zero point means zero vanishes and six five nine two eight this is the first five digits and we have to put a zero because we have to shift it six digits and this will become milligrams that is the easiest possible conversion of this question similarly you have a kiloliter here and a milliliter here just like kilogram to milligram you can convert kiloliter to milliliter which is a very small unit just by multiplying by this factor so i leave this question as a do it yourself question diy do it yourself and check whether you are able to solve this or not and i'm sure these conversions of length mass are no longer going to trouble you anymore so friends if you like this video do share it with your friends do subscribe the channel and click the bell shift icon for getting all the notifications thanks for watching this and all the best